Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at break-even quantity or break-even units. We're going to look at how to calculate it and explain exactly what it means. Now, we have done a comprehensive lesson on the cost volume profit or CVP analysis, which also has the break-even quantity. So we've done quite a number of calculations on that lesson. If you'd like to check that one out, you'll find the link in the description below. So what is the break-even quantity or break-even units? Well, this is the number of units that needs to be sold in order to break even. And that is making neither a profit nor a loss. So if you have to calculate the break-even quantity, you are calculating how many units you need to sell for you to break even, for you to not make a loss nor a profit. Okay, that is the break-even quantity or the break-even units. Remember, it's the number of units. If you'd like to check out the one on break-even value or the break-even amount or the break-even sales amount, you'll find the link to that lesson in the description below in addition to the one I just alluded to. And what is the formula for the break-even quantity? Well, here it is. It's the fixed costs divided by the contribution per unit. Fixed costs divided by contribution per unit. It's as easy as that. So the first thing that you usually have to calculate is your contribution per unit. Your fixed costs you'll usually be given. So let's look at an example on how to calculate the break-even quantity. Here we go. We're given details in the production department of Max PLC and they are estimated annual sales. We've got 5,000 units at 160 Rand each. We've got direct material, which is our variable cost, direct labor, which is also our variable cost, and factory overheads, which are all fixed, administrative expenses, which are also all fixed. Those will be our fixed costs. And here we are asked to calculate the break-even quantity. So how do we go about doing that? Well, let's bring back our formula. It's the fixed costs. And here we are already given the fixed costs, okay? It's the factory overheads, and we are told that it's all fixed, and administrative expenses, which are also all fixed. So we're going to add together the 80,000 Rand plus the 55,000 Rand, and we will have our fixed costs. And then we're going to divide that by the contribution per unit. How do we get contribution per unit? Well, it's going to be our sales minus our variable costs. And it's going to give us our contribution per unit. So we have to calculate our contribution per unit. So our sales per unit is 160 Rand as we're given on top here. So we're going to take the sales of 160 Rand. And our variable cost is going to be our direct material cost per unit plus our direct labor cost per unit. So it's going to be the 45 Rand plus the 90 Rand and we'll have our variable cost of 135 Rand. Once we have that, we just take our sales of 160 Rand minus our variable cost of 135 Rand and it gives us our contribution per unit of 25 Rand. Now we have all the information we need to calculate our break-even quantity. So we're going to take our fixed costs, which is the 80,000 Rand plus the 55,000 Rand, as I just mentioned, divided by the contribution per unit of 25 Rand. And it gives us an answer of 5,400 units. What does that mean? It means that if you are to sell 5,400 units, or if this company Max PLC is to sell 5,400 units, it will neither make a loss nor a profit. That is what it means. And that is why you calculate it. You want to know at the bare minimum, how many units should I be able to sell? And in this case, it's 5,400 units. That is the break-even quantity. I hope it's made sense. And I hope you've gained value from this lesson. And if you have, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time, cheers.